Hello Folk Slayers, today we're reacting to episode 11 of Queer as Folk. This show, guys, I love it so much, as you know. Coming in hot with that because you guys really are leaving such exciting comments. I love that you guys are excited that I'm reacting to it. Again, it's crazy, I'm the only one doing it, but it's kind of special. And don't worry, like, I totally know there's going to be more, I feel like. And I'm just glad to have set the trend on such an iconic piece of work. I hope you guys continue to comment, thumbs this video up, share it. We're starting to get back into the algorithm. So excited for this show and the future. And you guys are just hyping me up in the sense of like what's to come and I know so many many of you are saying like it hasn't even turned up yet like this season specifically and that season three seems to be a fave I feel like so we're just getting closer and closer but it's also getting sadder and sadder yeah I'm excited to jump back in with the crew I don't really know what's to come I feel like a turning point is probably coming. The gay dead body guy. I feel like that's going to continue in the storyline. It ended with Brian walking into the red zone, leaving my poor Justin behind, who is just like, I feel like starting to just not feel safe. I don't really know what's going through their minds because from the comments that, I don't know, it seems like there's gonna be a ride. Just beware with the comments, guys, cause like, it's very assumed the way it's gonna go by some of the comments, but really like I haven't been spoiled at all with this show. So let's just keep it that way. <laughs> the only thing I was spoiled, I was spoiled a bit for the UK version. One thing, like I know someone is going to die. If you guys are wondering, I will be reacting to that after this sh series and I plan to react to looking and I plan to react to in the sin, this something with created by Christopher Russell. So there's a lot to come even when I finish, but if you'd like to watch the uncut reaction or get the episodes early, check out my Patreon tier. Make sure you read the fine print with what works for you. Without further ado, let's get into it. Oh, it's strap-on night. Oh, it's lesbian night. Are we getting a Mel and Lindsay centric episode? Are we getting the wedding? Lita, our baddie. Oh, it's amazing. Follow the Lita. Follow the Lita, Lita, Lita. Follow the Lita. Yeah, so for my tubers only, uh, the uncensored, uncut is on Patreon. It looks like it's a lesbian night, not a Babylon, which we love. It's a fun little switch up. Strap-ons here, there, everywhere. There's tits out. We're having a gay old time. Nothing new here. Is this the happy couple? Sickening, isn't it? Oh. They want their this fortune is the medium. Pole. Yeah, she's back. Love this. This Saturday. <gasps> Uh-oh. I got my cards right here. I'm sorry, girls, but... You can't possibly get married this Saturday. This Mercury would fuck me up. Is in retrograde. Oh. A time of extreme imbalance in the Guys, universe. if you a listen to my podcast, Young Millennials, misunderstandings this has been a fucked up. Discord for everyone. Uh, yeah, but is it going to rain? Signing Mercury contract, in retrograde. Making pacts, taking vows now. Rain on the wedding day is good luck, I thought. I love Lindsay's haircut. What do you get to do? You have everything. Don't have everything. That's why they're so miserable. Well, only matching penis transplants a little pricey. They don't want penis. Honey. Oh, and I found out that Ben is somewhere. gay in real life. I totally would assume he wasn't. <laughs> so are love that. Species. To buy me that brand new ass I've always wanted. You're really getting plastic surgery. BBL baby. What if they make a mistake? Like accidentally sewing up your asshole. Well, you'll just have to <laughs> chew me a new one. You're so good at it. At least wait a week until Mercury's out of retrograde. <laughs> this is such Do a. Do you actually believe in that shit? Yes. That upheavals in our solar system can cause. I can't believe how ahead Blaming of this time this fucking show is. is an excuse not to accept responsibility. Like I've never heard that concept talk about in a show before, and now it's so in the forefront of like life. Trip for two white party in Miami. Ooh. Can I get a drum roll, please? 
Oh, if we go to Miami, I'll die. If we leave Pittsburgh ever, that'll be so much fun. Oh, we, Ryan they, Kitty. Of course. We need a vacation episode. Oh my god. I don't know. The planets don't seem We need multiple. <laughs> oh yeah. Gay travel vlog. Still beat Melanie and Lindsay's wedding. Uh. He'll figure it out later. Big? What's the matter? You What's okay, the matter? Okay. See for yourself. They're reevaluating your disability? And if they take it away, there goes my share of our monthly income. Ben says it's got to do with mercury. Oh, does he? Look, don't panic. I'll just have to get back to work. What if I got you a shift at the diner? In selecting <laughs> your ideal derriere, it's very important that you be Dairy happy with your choice, since it'll be following you around for a long, long time. My staff have all had work done, and they'd be more than willing to show you our most popular models. Tell the boys to come in. Oh. The fucking music is great. Those are all real. Oh, they're all so beautiful. I did them all myself. I also did their asses. <laughs> A good close look. Feel free to touch. Firmness and flexibility are key factors. Double bubble. Mm -hmm. Really gives a boy something to hold on to. <laughs> oh, <laughs> dimples. <laughs> All the rage this year. Begging to be tasted. <laughs> so, oh, hello, gorgeous. <laughs> oh, oh I, look at that. It's a great gift. I'm really insecure about my ass, especially when a guy touches it. It feels so much smaller. It's a good shape, but God, is it small. Lindsay, let's just take the seating plan. What are you going to serve my 24? No dairy, no yeast, no wheat, no sugar. Okay. Oh, <gasps> sweetheart. Give her a paper bag. Oh, my oh no. Oh god, Mercury in retrograde. We just got out of it in real life. I can't go back. When is the next one? Oh. What did I say? I'm not gonna get into my dress. You know, I thought we agreed no weird lesbo sex in front of the kid. Drop by to let you know I'm not gonna be at the wedding. He's such an idiot. Later. You can't ditch my special day. You don't really want me there, do you? I'll be drunk, I'll be bored, not to mention better looking than the brides. I'll offend all the dykes, I'll tackle the ceremony, table dance at the reception, and inevitably fuck every good-looking guy, gay, straight, or un Finally, I'll pass out naked. Out of all of that, I'd love to see him dancing on the tables. Out of town. Have a safe trip. Seems a lot longer when you're shopping for I hope I still Brian goes and, like, has not the best time. <laughs> I want him to have a good time. I want them all to go. Can we just get married in Miami? That would be fucking sick. But I could see him, like, going and then not having a good time and, like, making it to the wedding right in the nick of time. Like, if he goes a few days earlier so we get something. But they're not going. He's not going. We're not having a Miami moment. Please. Should be something romantic, you know, like this. Lingerie. You want to get two dicks? A romantic gift? Get them this. It's so interesting how we really don't say dykes anymore. Whatever you pick, I'm sure it'll be the perfect gift. <laughs> Welcome. Welcome. It's called chop. My people have lived there for centuries. Why don't I trust this? Her name is Hazarai, goddess of love and pride. Isn't she lovely? How much is she? $600. Pardon? Why would we get that? Wardrobe, crucial. Margin for error, zero. Oh, we're packing. Party has its own theme and a strict dress code. Why wouldn't you invite him? Like, 10,000 horny queers all in white. I guess that's why. And I mustn't forget the Cabana Boy contest. I have to remember to write <laughs> my Will you even need clothes by then? Good point. I if you've got anything to say about it. You're taking me? <gasps> but what about Thank the you. wedding? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You know how I said I didn't see any spoilers? I really haven't, but I did see a picture of Justin with the worst haircut or lack thereof I've seen. And that's the only thing I'm not looking forward to. I see his hair is getting a little long. What I saw, I did not like. That's your dad. And I will never Google anything again. It was for my thumbnail, but I'm just gonna do it from IMDb, so it's only pictures from that episode. You should be going to Melanie and Lindsay's wedding. You'll be there, you can cry for both of us. 
think you're afraid to let anyone know that you love them. That you have feelings like the rest of us. Really? It's okay to be human, you know. You really want to know the reason I bail? Rather get laid. We done? We haven't kissed in a minute. Oh my god, that would make me so mad. You always kiss you like that? Yeah, well... About four times a year. Oh, Benny. You played him, you drop the tab under the dish, you throw it here... I can't believe this hasn't back. happened sooner. No matter what happens, don't panic. Just take your time. I'm going to allow Mercury or anything else to fuck up our wedding. Everything's going ahead as planned. Brian invited me to the white party. And you said? That I'd go? It's a once-in-a-lifetime thing. No, so it's not. So is getting married. Of course, there are no hard bodies, no drugs, no thousands of dicks. There's two people saying I do. Right. How could it possibly compare? It's okay. He deserves a break. Have a great time. Hey, Brian, if bad luck is not coming, does he have to poach a ring bearer as well? What does it matter? There are no <laughs> rings. Hey, honey. True. I don't understand. He must be the caterer. We'll sue. Sue! Oh. The caterer in the hall has been shut down by the health department for salmonella poisoning. We have no food, we have no place to eat the food. No. <laughs> Funeral home. $500? My $500 on that? It was a steal. Oh, yeah, and I'm the one that got robbed. Look, just take it back. <laughs> can't take it back. You bought Lindsay and Melanie's wedding gift from some street corner shyster? I'm sorry, George. <gasps> George. I've made up my mind. I feel like I'm always going to be shocked to see George. Plastic surgery is just for foolish old men. Or but in my world, <laughs> you don't look like you just stepped out of a Calvin Klein underwear ad. You're nothing. Well, if that's the world, I'm happy not to know. Not to mention, it'll make me feel better about myself. But anyone who values himself because of their ass is asinine. I'm so sorry you're still waiting. More coffee? It's on the house. Do you think you could do a grilled cheese in under an hour? You told me to take my time. I can't do this. Where are you going? I'm useless. I'm worse than useless. I'm ridiculous. There's no way Damn. Please, that many guests into her house expressing frustration. So now I'm frustrated. I didn't say that. Ugh. <laughs> Cleaning's here. Oh. This what? wedding can't be happening in this episode. Apparently the dry cleaning solution was to... There's oh no need God. to explain. What but about the, the grandma? We just sit and follow we'll through with find that? find you something else to wear. And we will have our beautiful special day. I can't God believe it. we didn't go to the mother about the grandma's dress. Or maybe we can face reality. Go to Miami. I love a bush. Stop. Don't want no Pinocchio ass mofo. No, I do not. The wedding's off. You two have finally come to your senses? <laughs> is this real? She what? My love is a faster than Mercury and retrograde. And the, she thinks the wedding's not supposed to happen because, because we're gay. Christ. <laughs> Send in a to do a it's work precisely 21 hours to get the munchers married i mean can't we just resketch yo bitches tear each other's hair out later you two are responsible for staffing flowers and decorations and it you find us a place deb you pull together something for lens to wear i'd love to vic you're up for the cake no my cooking's a recipe for disaster don't worry vic i'll help you get to work now hold it kenny what are you doing I'm getting my beauty rest. Goodbye. I love it, 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 I love it. Not tonight, dear. I'm saving myself for Miami. Correct me if I'm wrong. I thought you didn't give a shit about your friends, that you only care about getting laid. I just never want to hear the word wedding again. Yes, I'd like to book a wedding in your private room. You Oh, you can. Sure. Oh, oh, wonderful. I mean, have it at this frickin' mansion. Mm -hmm. right. Tonight. Oh my yeah. god, we're gonna have it here. I have tried A through Z. The, there's probably a ballroom. If I may make a suggestion. Yes, you may. Be my wedding guest. Mm. Well, it's not very trendy, but price is right. Here. <gasps> OMG, I just got a little chill. A little chill in my bones. Let's my just order some cleaners. Hey, Virginia, I'll fill this room with exotic flowers. I'll bring in the yes. Pittsburgh Symphony. Yes. I'm on board. Um, 
Don't tell him no. Very kind, as usual. We don't gotta do this. But I, I'd kind of like to take care of this myself. Oh, okay, cute. How can you afford to? My tush fund. Oh yeah. You'd burst your bubble butt dream. Uh, if you don't mind a bumpy ride, I think this old thing's got a few more miles oh, on it. Ooh. <laughs> Thank you. I love that. Mm. What happened? Nothing. You just need to relax. It's more than that. I've been out of the world too long. I can't go back. You're right, you can't. You are the saddest hard luck case I have ever seen. Debbie. Get back in your robe. Better yet, find a train to fall under. At least I'd get the insurance. Where are you going? Where do you think? To the bakery. You promised the girls a wedding cake, didn't you? You can't just stroll into a bakery and... Any cake will be better than the dried out brick that you're planning. How dare you call my buttercream a dried out brick? <laughs> it's the truth. Not the humming. <laughs> oh, that's a uh, an Albanian sign on his shirt, right? He's definitely not Albanian. Not that I am either. You did all that on purpose, didn't you? How do you think I got him to live in the first place? I just kept screaming so fucking dial. Worked like a charm. You never figured it out? Apparently not. Justin, I need these egg whites beaten. And as for you, you want to grow up be another Brian Kenny? Always running away from love, never towards it. Then you go to Miami and you your little twinkie brains out. But it's never going to make you happy. <laughs> nice try, Debbie. Wait a minute. All right, you're on to me. But one day you're going to look back and you're going to regret that you didn't go to the wedding with your family. And that's the truth, sunshine. But I mean the wedding's tonight. That's the truth. What the f*** are you doing here? Come on, move your ass. You're getting married. Huh? Ah! Come on, get out. Oh. I just got chills. Wait, what's get going out. on? Miss Marcus, Miss Peterson. Oh my God. Welcome to your wedding. Uh, allow me to introduce our gracious host, George Schickel. Oh, Schickel's Schickel? The pleasure's mine and my home okay. is yours today. You're both doing hair and makeup, so let's get them along. Stat. Oh my God, I can't wait to see how pretty they're going to look. I most certainly am. Not if I have anything to say about it. I have chills. Shit, what you have to say about it. It's not worth destroying your friendship over. <laughs> oh, hey, Ryan! 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 I'm the one that should be screaming. Aren't you supposed <laughs> to be off somewhere, sticking your pina in some colada? I need a few minutes with the brides. Alone. You make it fast, Aww. huh? I gotta get him dressed. We love Brian. I hear you're the one responsible for this. Here. Oh, my gosh! Oh, my God! They're exactly like the ones that jewelers lost. <laughs> Complete with the inscription. Hey. Call the sitter and make sure Gus is all right. Gus isn't the invited. Guys all this together at the last minute. Sorry to say this again, but I can't believe we just dropped the grandma's dress storyline. Lindsay, it's your wedding present. All expense paid trip for two to Miami. You traded him for a later flight. Have a honeymoon. I'll take care of Gus. But you don't want to be here. Will you just take the f***ing tickets? No. I want you to go. Oh, I love them. It's the best gift you could give me, knowing you're happy. I'm going to start making out with my friends, I guess. Not the dress, though. I love you too, Brian. He tried. I was thinking, maybe someday, <laughs> what, you and I? Yeah, stranger things have happened. Not really. <laughs> Not what really. You need is a good fucking on the beach. Hey. Hot. I can't go. Eh, too hot, literally. I want to go to the wedding. Oh. Uh. I want to be a part of it. I want to see their faces when they say I do. Give Emmett Kleenex. Console Debbie. You know she's going to be a mess. <laughs> True. So you're standing me up to see two dicks tied in a knot. Yeah. Precisely. You angry? Just I think disappointed. You're a selfish, heartless asshole. Keep up the good work. I can't with them. I have fucking chills. Aw, oh, Justin looks cute. That dress though, oh my god, no. Friends, it's literally Debbie's. Family. Not even the stars or the planets could keep us from exchanging our vows. 
I love you, Lindsay Peterson. I will fight for you. I will protect you. You are my Beshert. Lindsay, Melanie, with so much love and support around us, I really do believe that there is no obstacle, no problem we can't overcome. Our hearts will be eternally united. I love you, Melanie Marcus. May I have the rings? <laughs> Frickin' Brian leaving to Miami. Like, oh my god, that's hysterical. <laughs> Is he gonna show up? I doubt it, right? <coughs> I just go. Do you take Lindsay to be your wife? I do. I do. By mm. the power vested in me, that you are married in our eyes. Damn. You can seal this with a little suck face. <laughs> <laughs> you may kiss the bride. I'm a ball of chills right now. I think you're buying a medal of statue. I was wrong. What are they going to do with an African love goddess? Look at it and say our friends Michael and Ted gave this to us because they love us. And then they'll stick it in the garage. <laughs> they'll stick it in the garage. So cute. <laughs> I never had a doubt. <laughs> Attention, everyone. It is my pleasure to announce the ben throwing. Ben looks great in that kid. color. You catch it. You're next. Mm. <laughs> Who's gonna catch it? <laughs> no. Oh, I feel like Emmett is. Debbie, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> of course. Something tells me there was a different song playing for this scene. Well, folks, we tied the knot. We have our first wedding. I wonder if we'll have any more. I'm thinking not. <laughs> that was so fun. That was so cute. The Mercury and Retro thing is crazy because it was just literally Mercury and Retrograde. I've had a rough month, so that was just like kind of poking fun at life to me. But yeah, I loved it. That was so cute. I'm really loving the George storyline. The house came in clutch. This is kind of random. I kind of thought Michael Bookstore Comic Shop. Speaking of, I'm going to start a booktube on my main channel, Billy Carney. Check it out. I thought the store is going to become a character as well. I do remember I caught a comment saying there will be more to it, but not in the way that I think. Interested in that. Wonder if we're gonna continue Miami or he'll probably just be back, I'm assuming. I'm interested to see Justin's conversation with how it was. Yeah, I'd like more Ben for sure. There's just so much that could happen. I'm not really sure, but I guess that's it for this episode reaction if you liked it please give it a thumbs up subscribe if you're new comment below and i will see you bitches on the next one